Right. So I want to move into Renee DeHinden only because it's going to link back up to, uh, to Beckjord. And uh, you also knew Renee really well, Thomas. We were, we were very good friends. Did you yeah. ever, Todd, get to meet Renee DeHinden? Uh, I never met him. Thomas, of course, is way, way older than I am. And, uh, but uh, I spoke with Renee on the phone. And I was supposed uh, to meet up with him, but it just never happened. And I regret that it didn't happen. But no, I never met him. I spoke with him on the phone back in 1997. Oh, Wish I could have met him. You, you never yeah. would have forgotten him, Todd, I believe you. Well, just the call, the phone call Thomas left an impression. <laughs> Definitely left an impression. <laughs> Thomas knows I, the story. <laughs> I've been watching videos uh, that you have archived, Todd, on your site, the the... Sasquatch uh, archives and matter of fact, all the links you guys are down in the description for both Thomas and Todd to their channels and to everything that we're talking about and all the information I have here. So you'll be able to, to find those, but yeah, I get you do an excellent impression, Thomas. Now that I have seen all these videos of Renee, uh, you do a great, uh, voice for him. You know, Nikki, I want to clear this up before it gets any worse, okay? The stories I impersonate the hidden that's a lot of crap. <laughs> um and so don't you get were... me wrong about that Beckchard. <laughs> <laughs> Beckchard and uh Krantz, right? He he uh didn't uh, like Krantz very much. Oh well um, Rene Rene didn't uh at times didn't didn't like many people. Uh, he was Rene. There's no other way to describe him. Uh -huh. But he was a down to earth, unlike Beckett, he was a down to earth, hard nosed researcher who, no BS. As far as he was concerned, the Sasquatch either is or it isn't, and there's no other way about it, right? right. And that's what he devoted his life to. He was a young 